another Photoshop tutorial for you today, though I'm afraid it's going to take longer to introduce it than it actually will to do it. Uh, I'm going to be using an image that uh, one of our longtime readers has uploaded to our Flickr group. Uh, not to worry, uh, I would not just randomly grab someone's image off of Flickr, so don't be afraid to upload images for fear that I might grab it for a tutorial. I would always ask permission before using it. Uh, there will be uh, many ways to do what I'm showing you today, more sophisticated techniques uh, with layer masks, etc. But the reason I'm doing it the way I am is so that it would be, I think, the easiest way to reproduce it in other programs outside of Photoshop. And I will, for the most part, be using uh, menu commands versus keyboard commands so that there will hopefully be a little less confusion about whether or not it was a PC versus a Mac keyboard shortcut, but uh, rest assured I am a lowly PC user, so when I do use keyboard commands, they are that of the PC flavor. And that's about it. Let's get into today's tutorial. It uh, In this tutorial, we are going to use a little bit of dodging, a little bit of burning to control how and where a viewer's eye will go when they are looking at one of our images. and. To do that, we first need to understand how the eye works. The very first thing that an eye will do is it will go from an area of light to dark. Then it moves from high low to low contrast. Then high sharpness to low sharpness. And wraps up with areas in focus to areas of blur. So understanding these things, I want to show you the image that we're going to be using today. The very first time I saw this image, I loved this image. Uh, it's a, a young boy who dressed up uh, as Thor for Halloween. And as you can see in the image, he's not a young boy. He is Thor. He is, his feet have just left the ground and he is in character. And it's just a phenomenal image. Now, usually, if, if we're going to uh, shoot in the studio or a uh, plan shoot, we're going to take care of controlling one's eye with the way we set up the shot. But here is a shot that was done spur of the moment, spontaneous, uh, photojournalistic, however you might want to say it. And so where light was and was not was not in the control of the photographer. So what we're going to do now is take back that control. and. In Photoshop is how we're going to do it today, and we are going to use the Quick Select tool, which is a down and dirty, really easy, uh, nice tool to use. And above here, you're going to see there's plus and minus signs, and what that means, pretty much self-explanatory. Plus is when you make selections, you'll be adding to the selection you've made, and the minus is you're taking away. So you're just going to grab the tool and start selecting this young man and not to worry if you run over because it is easily taken care of. Now I'm not gonna do the whole selection, I've already done it, but I just want to show you real quick now using the minus you would just kinda come in and it, it really works wonderfully. But we've got the image reproduced over here already selected and what we're gonna do is make three layers. We're gonna have the original photograph we're going to have a layer of just this young man, and we're going to have a layer of just the background. So with that selection made, we're going to do Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. Oh my goodness, all that selection is gone, that hard work, it's disappeared. No, it's not. Go under Menu, Select, Reselect. So what we had had before, uh, it comes back to us. But we don't want to select him again. We now want the background. So going back to the select option in the menu, we are going to inverse. So instead of him being selected, it is the background. Again, control C, control V, and now we have the three layers. Just deselect. There's the young man. There's just the background. And there's our original image. So we're going to select the background first. We are going to grab our burn tool. Got a fairly large soft brush. And what we're going to do is just start burning the areas that are a bit too bright in the background. And we can run right over him because he is not selected. Get 
a little bit more of that grass. And not to worry if you get a little bit dark because we can come back up to opacity. Drop it down to about what, 85%. And let's just turn that off and on and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to select the young man and we're going to go for our dodge tool. I'm going to use a smaller brush and just come in where the pants are kind of dark. Lighten them up a little bit, the shoes. And I want to get rid of that shadow under his chin, brighten his face up just a bit. And let's turn that off and on a couple times to look at it. Looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to change the opacity on that. And what I would normally do is I would uh, save this as a PSD with the three different layers. So if I wanted to come back and, and make changes or adjustments, I could. And then flatten it, and I would print it. And that's pretty much our quick little down and dirty dodge and burn tutorial. I hope you're able to take something away from this, and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Weekly Photo Tips. Take care, everyone.